everybody. Wanna wheeze them here? It is 2.07 a.m. Friday night, early Saturday morning. I uh, just went in as much as I hate doing it. I went ahead and grabbed this guy, Chi, after I reset the character. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead here and we will take uh, Crash Bandicoot. Uh, just purchased his base upgrades here to save us some time. Uh, we previously, let me click over here to the spreadsheet, uh, checked out if you missed it somehow. Uh, we did Spin to Win. Uh, which wasn't too terrible, really, um, but Crates of Plenty kind of appealed to me more. So if you're interested in the Aku Aku Dash, the Suction Cyclone Spin, or the Go Yo Yo Go Yo Yo Go, uh, or you're a big Vanilla Ice or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fan, this is probably the path you would want to take. Uh, if you feel that the crates are strong enough, uh, basically right here, or you're not interested in them, you'll probably want to take the top path, regardless of what this one is. But... Uh, for whatever reason, this bottom path appealed to me in part because I really love what the crates are doing right now. Uh, so just as a refresher, uh, let's see here. 44 to 66 on impact. Uh, then, of course, we get the sweet body slam, uh, which you would have regardless of spin to win or crates of plenty. Uh, you can have five crates active at a time. The sixth one would basically just detonate the first one instantaneously. Uh, they have extended range, and they kind of auto-seek enemies, which is cool, but my favorite thing, it's a projectile, but then I can bounce it off, which I think is just insanely cool. Uh, we ran into some issues where um, you don't really get the propensity to have many crash crates or uh, the rocket crates that we get later on, but... Uh, I think taking this path and using the crates more often, maybe that would help mitigate that to some degree. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, Anyway, let's go ahead and get cracking here. So, uh, we will come in here, and we're going to again take crates aplenty. Litter the battlefield with crates and pack them each with more of a punch. So, uh, up top, spin to win again if you missed that video or his base upgrades or Thumpin' Woompa Islands, which was probably the most likely thing you missed because YouTube has still not sorted out their live streaming <laughs> archive issues, if you will. And I've completed the tech process with them, and the result was kind of disappointing, I'm not going to lie. I'll probably make a standalone video on that. Um, but I did, in fact, play through on a live stream, just as, a, as I've always done, Thumpin' Woompa Islands, uh... I guess last Tuesday, the 5th of September, somewhere in that time frame. Uh, so roughly two weeks ago, if you will. But uh, if you missed it, you can go to my channel, and then you can click on Videos. And if you go to the Videos tab or the Uploads tab, and you sort back roughly to when September 5th was, which I don't even think it gives dates, but uh, you can find it. And then I would hope that you'd be able to search for it as well. But uh, yeah, it's... Kind of a bit of a buzzkill the way that panned out, but uh, anyway, if I remember, I'll try to make it like be one of the linked videos at the end of this one. So uh, if you did miss it, if you're interested in seeing it, whatever it may be, that's what you need to do. So that said, let's do crates of plenty. Pretty excited about this one. Uh, Spyro five five seven. He was talking to me about the uh, Neo Cortex upgrades, which he agreed when I complained about uh, Uka Uka not. Well, he explodes, but he doesn't deal damage. There's no knockback. There's no nothing. Uh, he said he was under the impression from the text description that that would be the case. And he said he researched the snot out of it, tried and tried and tried to make it happen, and never could. And so that, that kind of sucks. But uh, he took Crash down, spin to win, and then he's resetting him to check this path out too. So... Uh, it kind of appealed to me more, and then I believe uh, Ethan... Uh, when we introduced Crash, said, hey, this is the better path. So uh, if that's someone else's opinion, and it kind of <laughs> interests me more, that's what we'll roll with. So initially, I didn't know that I would like it better, but once we got this, and I got to see what it could do, I was pretty excited. So uh, we're going to get started here with four squares for 1,700. Hold Y to throw crates around in a circle. Make spinning afterwards a crate idea. So props on the pun and, more importantly, props on the functionality. So basically, if I toss that thing, I can slide into it, kick it, whatever, right? It'll eventually blow up. If we do this and I do the primary attack, I can sort of spin it around, right? Uh, but now, and then don't forget, he's got the belly slam, which is awesome. 
That's a very Terrafin-esque maneuver, which I'm a big fan of. So uh, we can do that, but here's the other thing, folks. Now if we hold Y, let's get a look at this. Oh, perfect. I wish the belly flop could, like, detonate all of them at the same time, but... Uh, oh, that's going to be so cool. All right, so it's pretty much exactly what I imagined it would be. Uh, to cut down on the delay here, I'll just kind of do it, you know, real pace, not just thinking and talking like I do. Uh, so we would do one, and then you can just do this, and then of course you come in and you can throw and hurl them around. So you hold it, hold Y, press X, and it's just crazy destruction, <laughs> which is awesome. So four squares, that's exactly what it sounds like. Uh, hold tertiary to throw four crates at once. Still 44 to 66. Important to note, but I've got to say, where we were doing this, 44 to 66, right? Now we can do that, and then uh, we can do this, and hey, that's 44 to 66, three times better, essentially. So uh, here we come in now, and we're going to take the next path here, upgrade I should say. Blasting impression, once again very punny. Jump on a crate to make a shockwave that knocks enemies down in a big area. Can we currently do anything? Again, you have to bear with me here. Never ever have I played a Crash Bandicoot game, period. My first taste of it was in Thumpin' Woompa Island, so... Uh, let's chuck one of these. Oh, it does instantly detonate. Does that do... Can I position this right? Okay. Can I position this right? No. Can I position that right? Yes. Hopefully. Okay, so it's still 44 to 66. That's what I wanted to make sure. I wanted to make sure it wasn't anything less, nor anything more. So, sweet spot, 44 to 66. But now, with uh, Blasting Impression, we get a shockwave that'll knock the enemies down in a big area. So, uh... Can't really showcase the knockdown here with these dummies, but it should give us an idea of the radius of a shockwave. So let's just toss one. That's a pretty decent one. Let's see, it doesn't quite get to mags from here, so if I come to the drop down here, well, let's throw a crate roughly to the drop down. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Let's see if it does any damage. So we've got a carefully positioned. Oh, 29. Okay, cool deal. So half of 29, as you should know by now, is going to be 14.5, and we round up in this game, and that becomes 44, which you've actually seen quite a few times. We're getting a nice mix uh, of variants there. Cool thing about 29 to 44, the step up from that 44 to 66 is what these do standard. So blasting impressions, jump on a crate, shock wave, 29 to 44, that knocks it said enemies down did it not i believe it did and that's there's a difference between down and back believe it or not so knocks enemies down i assume that's just going to level them take them off their feet if it doesn't do that i'll be disappointed by the wording anyway uh, that said believe it or not we're to the final upgrade on crates of plenty it's going pretty quick here crate explosions cover a larger area oh yes this is probably going to be the biggest payoff. Uh, this is just extremely functional and will be complemented by dynamite. This is honestly just kind of fun, or I guess if you're like an old school crash player and you've been jumping on the crates every time, whereas if someone like myself would just come in and either slide and kick them or just, you know, spin into them constantly. If your first inclination is to jump on them, this is probably more practical for you than it will be for me. This one, oh yeah, I'm going to grab that. So explosions cover a larger area and do more damage. So first things first, what is the increase in damage? Well, I'm pressing Nintendo buttons, so we don't know. 48. Got me all worked up for plus four, really. <laughs> okay, well, uh, crates now do 48 to 72, up all the way from 44 to 66. That's a plus four, or plus six, ladies and gentlemen. Amazing stuff, I know. So crates now do 48 to 72, which again, I mean, I'll I'll take it. I want to know now if the shockwave damage uh, has gone up, which again, if I quit pressing Nintendo buttons, 
Okay, so Shockwave, still 29 to 44. Dun, dun, dun. Shockwave, still 29 to 44. And then what was the catch with this one? I am pretty tired, so bear with me. Create explosions, cover a larger area. Huh. I guess I can see that. Can we bounce them any farther? Let me see. No, they bounce about the same, but I guess that explosion on the front side. Case in point, like right here, as I skip them. Really, right down the middle with nothing to either one, huh? I guess if we back up, it'll change the direction. Boom. <laughs> so yeah, 48 to 72. The crits are fairly commonplace here, which is very strange in this game. Perhaps he's a preferred character. Um, so does the shockwave change any? Has its radius gotten bigger? Maybe a tad. It doesn't look different, but... I feel like right there we might have not hit them last time. Maybe it did get a little bigger. Okay, it should not hit them from there. <laughs> Let's try this. That should do it, right? Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe it did, but again, this for sure got bigger. And then if I hold this down, and then if I come in and do that, <laughs> you get the idea of it, right? That's just... Functional and practical, I have to say. So, uh, But sadly, the shockwave does not do an increase in damage. So, uh, what now, what now, what now? <laughs> we need to see how that looks knocking yeah. enemies down. Uh, I wanted to see if the body slam actually increased. I'm assuming that it will not have increased, but... Uh, we'll find out. So, uh, where it was, it was doing 58, right? Yes, 58 to 87. So, um, we'll keep that in mind. But let's purchase Box of Rockets. This will be interesting to me because when I'm throwing four at a time, I'm assuming we're going to increase the likelihood of both a crash crate and a rocket crate. Or at least I would hope so. This is pretty cool, pretty fun, but just with spin to win, you barely ever get a rocket crate. It's it's really, really rare. I'll say that, at least on my experience. So every now and then, and boy, they aren't kidding when they say that, press Y to throw a rocket crate as if you had a choice to do so. That spawns a rocket. When it is collected, crash jetpacks into the air. Press X to shoot Woompa Fruit and unleash an aerial assault. So uh, it's kind of just a fun and innocent soul gem, but it sort of, I mean, it's more cool than practical, but uh, when you get right down to it, at least with spin to win, I don't think the damage will be different here. The Wumpa Fruit does 46 to 69 damage, and you can shoot roughly 16 of them. So it's pretty practical, but again, it's kind of hindered by how rarely you're able to get that. You can't just execute a button combination and you know go into your box of rockets or throw a rocket crate it's honestly just kind of at random so uh, and if it is kind of plugged into an equation it's very rare so we'll go with random or rare and neither one of those are good things to hear um i don't even know that i can showcase it here um, I think we're just always going to have standard ones on the map anyway, so... Uh, but that's what it is. Let's check the belly flop here. Does it look different? No. <laughs> it's still 58, so... Kind of sad it wasn't bumped up as like a surprise or something, but it's still a pretty potent attack, and it's more fun than anything, so... That said, the Sky Chi, let's go ahead and discuss it. Uh, it's, uh... Oh no, yo, yo, fo, show. <laughs> so, the ultimate sensei attack hold right trigger to perform your sky chi power use left stick to direct where their yo-yos will go it's basically 104 to 156 and then the final explosion 288 to 432 i'm kind of thinking we'll just come in here to an arena uh, and this way we can check and see if we happen to get more crash crates uh the main main thing here for me is when we throw uh, the four crates at once. Obviously, to do that on spin to win, you would have to do it four individual times. Well, well, <laughs> you have to well. press the button. Nice uh, and just us holding Y, we should get. 
So, and I was holding Y to skip there, by the way. But uh, I'm not concerned about... Well, actually, I don't want to die uh, immediately. But... Alright, so here we go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I want to jump on a crate. So far, this battle is a real snoozer, Chill Bill. Uh, well, these guys aren't really strong enough. Okay. Okay, that guy is who I need to see. But I also don't want to level up. No, 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 stupid chompies. Get out of my way. Okay, pursue me, friend. Oh, it does knock him back. So, uh, down, I should say. Let's see if it does it to the spell punk guy. So like you hit my crate, anyway. you stupid spell punk. Well, at first I was just Bill, but I was pretty cool and I liked the freeze people. So the rest just Oh my gosh, it did. It put the spell punk on his back. Well, that's pretty cool. So now <laughs> Okay, wow, we actually got one. And oh, can I get it? I did. When I started this job. The bad news is I can't really maneuver with it. Wow, that didn't <laughs> last quite like I thought it would. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and start chucking more crates here. Because maybe we're getting this to count as combat in-game action, you know? Uh, and sometimes I did have that happen where the crates would actually go off the edge. And it's like really heartbreaking. Uh, whether it's a crash crate or a rocket crate. Yeah, this is pretty cool being able to knock the enemies down, I've got to say. And it's kind of just like a never ending uh, explosion. Oh, yeah. Although, full disclosure here, I don't think the weather ever actually changed. But, yeah, right here, I'm, I mean, I'm at 67. You know, we're getting pizza, but we're not getting crash crates, and we've had one rocket crate. Some could have flown off the edge, and I might have been oblivious to them. But it doesn't seem to have increased it. But. In theory, I would like to think it has, since we're getting four of them. But let me play with this. Let me chuck a crate at these guys. And then when I jump on this, look at that. It puts them both flat on their back. I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> so, um, this is kind of... No, we'll wait until we have a few more enemies to do these guys. Character creation business. So I'm still not really... <laughs> Keep in mind, I am not trying to immediately kill these clowns. Uh, I'm just sort of playing around. Interesting that his tornado doesn't have an effect. Or did it? I think that was just natural. That's so cool, though. To send like a spell punk on its back. Another? Really? Okay. Oh no. Sky Chi time. Check this out. That's gonna be good. I wish I was facing the camera. So you can see there we've gone up a little bit. But down goes that dude. Good old one round dad. Yeah. One more round to go, and I'm wondering whatever happened to that piece. Not too bad, not too bad. But note, I have yet to get a crash crew. This whole time. That's why I'm still at two. Oh, we finally speak of the devil. Wow, back to back. So here we go. Uh, where is the cursor? I do not. There it is. Okay, well, hey, apparently that times out as well. So that's, that's fun. But yeah, it took us into this much time to actually receive, you know, the first crash crate. And then luckily we got the rocket crate with it. <laughs> These poor guys never stood a chance. So yeah, now we're doing level 4 damage. And uh, I'm not too concerned with them. It's so neat to just flatline people, though. I'm a big fan of that. I do want to uh, play around. I know it's not going to be box stock damage anymore. But I want to go ahead and load this up and then spin through. And that didn't work well. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of sad you can't execute the soldier any time you want to. Let's actually try a belly flop against all these guys. And I would like him to die so you can see what it looks like. Ouch, babe. Alright, so he passes out like that and then he just comes back. It's always at 60 health when I would test it. I'm assuming this has changed with the level or something. <laughs> That's just so great. Getting to do that. Oh, hey, we got him on the residual jump there. Boom. We're just toying with this guy. It's like, here, take fire. 
want to aim at it. Uh, can we? This is not a good set of enemies for what I'm wanting to do. <laughs> but you can basically, I mean, they're not really knockback, but they're sort of like the stun effect. And then if you can just set it up where you can jump on a crate, which is a little dangerous, I have to say. Wait, what did I get hit by? I forgot who does that. Oh, a rocket crate. Okay. And it went off the screen. That stuff just happens sometimes. Well, he get he does not get knocked down. Okay. Uh, but he does take damage, which is okay. Can you believe he used to fight against the Skylanders, Broccoli guy? <laughs> Looking good out there, Skylanders. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, this is a crash down in crates of plenty path. And I'd like to showcase the Sky Chi for you. Oh my gosh, a rocket. It's a super rare drop. Super rare. <laughs> you kinda, it's really hard to aim, and I'm frantically shooting just because we've had this thing time out on us. Now, they'll get knocked back, right? If I could ever. Like, not have the crate hit me. Not that it's a bad thing. <laughs> wow, he can take hits from Chompy as well. It's been a interesting. Uh, but let's see if we can get one more crash crate. I don't know that we can actually. Oh no, okay. Whoops, that's not the right. That really goes to show you how easy it is to be an odds maker, Chill Bill. I mean, come on, picking the guys who always win. It's not exactly. I don't guess I can jump when we're in Sky Chi mode here. That's interesting. Hey, I know what it's like. Oh, let's get out of here, buddy. Wow, that is not a not a good look. And we hit the Nintendo button again. I gotta quit doing that. Or were they always bad guys? And I just can't it. Oh my gosh, a crash crate. How rare is that? Like, uh, what I want to convey here is how like, ridiculously rare. Like, you would think, you can revive four times, you've got five lives, you'd be like, oh, you probably just rock those all the time. Nope. <laughs> this is like getting the warp whistle in Super Mario 3 type of a thing, you know? You're gonna get a lot of frog seeds when you don't need them, you're gonna get a lot of mushrooms when you want to... Oh, so true, but you're wanting the crash crate? Don't hold your breath, man. That's what I can tell you. But yeah, that's what everybody said is crash when they play as him. He just has this propensity to constantly die. And then when people complain about that, the hardcore crash fans say, well, that's what crash always does in the future. <laughs> so, uh, once again, I have no first hand experience with it. I just kind of regurgitate what I have been told. Oh no, you gotta watch that belly flop. It's uh, a little risky, not even that way. But yeah, I mean, oh, look at that. I forgot that was a Horrible timing. Oh hey, we'll bring that in automatically. Cool deal. <laughs> Computer sounds antsy, I hope it didn't drop any frames, but we got in his entire path and an entire battle arena, so got you some bonus content, got to showcase what I wanted to, and we'll get to showcase an Imaginite chest, so we'll see what we get here. Uh, the one that I got in the Cradle of Creation was like a Sorcerer Staff, uh, and it was a Shepherd Staff, I believe. So, these are usually fairly decent. Common, as I say that. And ears. Mouse ears. Cool. Hard work. Has anyone built Rodent's Revenge yet? Maybe I should do that. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, yeah. So Crash Bandicoot creates a plenty plus a bonus arena action, and we're still under 25 minutes. Amazing, I know. Uh, that said, let me know what you think of this path. Do you prefer crates a plenty or spin to win? Uh, let me know your reasoning behind either one. Uh, do you feel like one outperforms the other? Do you feel like one is extremely overrated compared to the other, or one is just underappreciated? Uh, whatever it may be, feel free to share your thoughts. If you're super into this stuff, SkylanderClub.com, sign up on the forum if you want to post. And uh, we got a ton of polls there. I will eventually be posting my entire uh, comprehensive library of Skylanders research from Skylanders Imaginators. So be on the lookout for that. In the meantime, make sure you follow me on Twitter. I will always tweet before I live stream. I will either be live streaming on Mixer 
Twitch or YouTube. More on that coming soon. But uh, as always, thanks for watching. Hope everybody's having a great Saturday, a good weekend. And I will catch you back here for the next installment of Skylanders Research. Adios.